Kiev, strong additions for Big, and Waylander about to walk right into it through the toilets. Oh, Kiev gonna unscope at just the right time to allow. Waylander to push one out, but showing no remorse. Gonna tag him down. The peak comes out from well. Then he might have missed the first couple of shots, but he's not gonna miss the ladder. Gets himself two. Markov's on the side, but Keem's not slowing down for anyone. Oh my Keem, god! What are you doing? You're a madman. <coughs> he's gonna get all five. Oh my god! Keem is actually insane. A monster. An animal. Some he's just. He doesn't want to turn around too quick because he wants to get that. Oh, Skadoodle, that's amazing. Taking down a second kill there and Flamey, everything you want. Another attempt to go for the A main fight and this time it doesn't exactly work out for Navia though. With that kill from Simple, maybe it still will. 30 seconds left. Look at the health that's left on Shroud and Skadoodle. When you're planting on the B bomb side, that's a problem because it's so easy to grenade whoever is planting, which would probably be, well, should probably be Shroud. Should probably switch the bomb over to him instead because Skadoodle's got to be covering with the AWP oh, in a perfect world. Yeah, there it is. Well, let's go. Shroud gonna lead the way. Smoke is still up. Holding close and with a man close and connector as well. Seize will be able to go for the flank very quickly here and sure enough. But Skadoodle again! Where's the bomb plant though? There, just in the nick of time. Unreal, but Skadoodle's got the quad kill and now it's on him to find the ace! In the end, he will bring it back. Skadoodle coming alive and we're seeing a level from him we haven't seen for quite some time. Under the A site for a fast plant inside of it. Twenty-eight seconds. So he is trying to fake the B site because bomb's gonna bust out of A main. Stewie, the one that's up close. Good shot to start it off. Looks for a second, but Fur he's able to line it up better as he pops out the other side of the E box round from range. Can't do much, but they will continue to push SK back off the old bomb train. Meanwhile, though, Cold's gotten in a great position as Fur executes oh. Skadoodle and then. Excuse me, nothing, and then Skadoodle, the bomb gets planted, it's on to Shroud, it does get one back, but it's still gonna be a battle because Automatic is trying to rotate back in from Z-Connector, Fallen has the ladder room covered. That kill from Shroud will pull the other two back in though, and if they can play off the information, there's a chance, but it's Shroud in the last pistol that was the hero, this time he can't do it, Fur, five kills, an ace to start it off, brilliant from him. As soon as he gets that silent USP, he's looking so confident, but so did Shroud. The 1v1 with the two players of the most frags in that round. Unable to find the final kill, but that's Shroud. It was a slow paced round, ultimately from SK Gaming. Tier Runden bis jetzt. Und zum Dignitas. Rubino gegen Warman. Warman wollte da ein bisschen Raum einnehmen. Jawohl, Rubino! Sichert sich wieder 3 gegen 3. Überzahlzone, Überzahlsituation für Dignitas. Jetzt nicht mehr! 2 gegen 2 und jetzt soll's auf den Spot gehen, jawohl! Überzahlzone, Überzahlsituation für Dignitas. Jetzt nicht mehr! 2 gegen 2 und jetzt soll's auf den Spot gehen, jawohl! Tenski steht da schon Richtung Zwack bereit. Aber hinten muss ein Terzki stehen. Auch noch da. Damit Bombe immer noch bei Rubino in der Hand. Und wir wissen es, auf Overpass gibt es genügend Rotationsmöglichkeiten und schnelle Rotationsmöglichkeiten. Aber wir sehen es. Terzky will da schon Richtung Rubino hinterher. Und Hitmos ist schon wieder fast auf dem A-Spot, äh, auf dem B-Spot. Und das geht sowas von schnell hier. Bombe kann geplantet werden. Die Smoke hindert es noch, den Sichtkontakt für Terzky herzustellen. Damit 1 gegen 1 Situation. 82 HP gegen 3... Gegen 4 HP und damit die 2 gegen 1 Situation endlich mal um. And Navi, they did everything right. They got the smokes down. They grouped up as a unit. They were just looking to trade kills, but there's sometimes there's no handling Shroud. The power of that uh, NA pistol. Looks like Navi aren't just gonna bend so easily. They've invested into four smokes, two flashbangs, no armor, and no pistols. So that means they just want the bomb down. It's all gonna come down and see if Cloud9 are gonna fall back. That's what they were hoping for. Navi side and Shroud just says no. Another three kills for him, making it six in the game so far. And looking for a couple with a pistol as well. Shroud and there's the Eco Ace coming out. Eight kills in two rounds. And <laughs> listen, this is actually, a, I think this is actually a very good gamble for Navi. It's not uncommon that if you see that many smokes come in from Cloud9's point of view, you think, why fight? They probably have Tech Nines. Let's not do this, let's just wait. They didn't have Deagles upgraded pistols, but 
somebody and Bentet both sitting there, both waiting and ready for whatever comes at them. Somebody getting hyper-aggressive up close. Picks up one, picks up two with the transfer, picks up, oh no, three and four. Okay, just making sure he got all four there, as Summer is now the last remaining player for Flash Gaming. And I'd like to point out, somebody did not drop a single HP in that four-man kill. To be fair, it was kind of split between two. It was split into towards a one on two and another one on two. They had pistols and stuck behind a smoke. The summer changes name to winter if it's like opposite seasons, because I know it is. Durchsetzen beziehungsweise wer dafür überhaupt gegen Hillwork antreten. Aber ich hasse diese Mini Steps immer. Also damit liegt es das auf der T-Sign. Es soll direkt aggressiv über kurz gehen. Warren macht den Entry Fake, aber Quarman. Setzt zweimal den Refact, damit 3 gegen 3, der Spot ist noch nicht ganz aufgegeben von den CTs, Hitmaus fällt dann aber auch sofort und damit kann die Bombe geplantet werden, damit der extra, das extra Geld für Dignitas und Cyberfocus und, und an Robo an die beiden Jungs von K29 liegt es, also wie ich es gerade schon gesagt habe, der kleine Vorteil ist auf jeden Fall mit dem Geld schon hergestellt und Quormit setzt sich durch mit seinem 4K, mit seinem 5K, alles klar, 5 Yeah. Very similar kind of setup here for Cloud9, which is uh, just fine. They have swapped it out a bit with Stree holding a bit further back this time. Nothing but a great spray. Quad kill for him, and there's the instant ace. Uh, so incredibly quick. I mean, it doesn't quite beat the record, but um, yeah, that was. Bottom mid, where we've got FNS right around the corner with the Mag 7. Here, though, Rick A. He peeks out from B platform. Oh no, not like that. They throw the molly and they immediately extinguish it with their own smoke. So that's a waste of that incendiary grenade that was thrown out. However, the bomb has been dropped right on the location of that smoke. Ethan, you gotta watch out. There's two players in drop room and he's right on the other side. He hears them jumping around. But did he spot him though? It doesn't look like he saw Nitro going through that smoke. So he's gonna be in position to take a fight here in just a moment with Nitro with this UMP. Well, Sills, you're going to take... Oh, look like for a second they were going to commit Cutler to the other bomb site, and they might have wanted to do that, as now it's just Ricky sitting alone here, and the site finds one, and a beautiful second swing shot onto Nitro. With that, he might have just won the round for his team, but he's going to do more. Moves in for the fourth kill, and he follows it through to get the ace. Ricky, absolutely insane stuff from him, and it keeps the advantage rolling. And especially not when Ska is finding the first pick, taking out your AWP, you're off, it's gone, Guardian is gone, but Flamey is there to trade kill. And he's taken down the raid boss. Automatic is out of it, Andrews. It's a four on four. Yeah, I'm not sure Automatic really wanted to take that transition, so that's pretty unfortunate. And there's a fire kill on Shroud. The Molotov comes in from Flamey. What is going on? Did he get uh, flashed in the molly or something? That's bizarre. It's unclear at this point. We'll do some sort of investigation. Seized walking in. No sound been made so far. He's getting very close to the bomb side. This is an absolutely lethal push. Oh, but they're not going to check the site. Stewie, as soon as he hears the plant, he's going to realize there it is coming in. He's going to sneak around, picks up one kill, but that's not the guy planting a bomb. They're actually going to come off the plant for a minute here. And now the grenades are raining in. Stewie picks up one more shot, taking down Dimple. This is big plays. Now 25 seconds and Flamey, he's here with the flank. But the bomb is making its way out to the A bomb side. This round is just absolute madness. Maybe he can just win it right here when they go for the rotation flame. If they're not alert, now they're realizing it's on A. Their focus is in the wrong place and nothing goes down. Wow. What a shift. Quick thinking on their feet and this is paying off for Navi. Now they have a huge advantage. The noodle is so low and Stewie is gone as well. Ska, you've done it once. You can do it again. A 1v2. You just have so little HP. Yeah. And I do believe he has been spotted now, Anders. They know where he's coming from, and they're going to peek him together. Perfectly done there by Navi. That was an ace, I believe, from Flamey, in fact. What a round. Way out and around Ivy. So they know for sure it's coming to Anders. And it should be a relatively simple shutdown. Three, four kills in the hands of Sean. He might get the ace as well, and indeed he does. Nicely played. Sean Garris picks up the quickies. A lot of those kills. SMG kills. Look how much money he's got. The time. Flash is coming out. It looks like it's going to be a very quick rush. Hurricanes will go down to Lovey. A few shots through the smoke as he waits for them. Another push. He's got to pick up another couple. How have they not killed him yet? He picks up four. Lovey, is he taking us here to an overtime? It looks like he will be. Somebody's picked up one kill. And goodness me, this is going to be all over. Oh. Wow. Lovey. 
peeking around. Somebody, he's just trapped in here. There's nowhere for him to go. He's got a minute to play with. And we are going to be, I suppose, getting ready for an overtime. I do have to wonder what happens here. Can somebody get a 4K? Or the Flash send someone absolutely away from this, I suppose, this map. But it's going to be all over. Here we are going through to an overtime.